Hello everybody, my name is Paul on behalf of Cryonetic. This is a short tutorial on how to export from Blender 2.75a to Unreal Engine 4. First start up Blender, you'll notice this is what your default startup screen looks like. I just have the Science Lab theme installed. Other than that, everything else should look the same. Uh, before I start, I'm just going to enable screen cross keys. That way you'll be able to see which buttons I push at the bottom left here. So select everything in your scene, delete it. A few things to change um, here in your render tab, just change your frame rate to 30 frames. We'll use that if we do animations for games. In your scenes tab over here, change your units to metric. Uh, you should be ready to set up your model now. So I'm just going to save my startup file. That means that every time I start this up, this is what the first thing that I'll see. Um, one thing to note, the one thing that's left is the 3D cursor. If you left click, you move it. Um, a 3D cursor, basically, wherever you add uh, geometry or a model, it will add it where the 3D cursor is. So I do not want it over there. If you want to center your 3D cursor, shift C, and you can just add that cube again and then you'll see it's in the center of the world. Now, as is, I'm going to export this from Blender to Unreal. Just one thing to note before I export, if you look at the dimensions, the default dimensions 2x2x2, two by two by two, this is in meters. If you had any other settings on your units, it might still say 2x2x2, two by two by two, but it might either be inches um, or, or something completely different so um, to leave it in metrics if you want to get your your scaling and everything right um, well, there we go we're just going to click export export FBX it's gonna go to my models folder I'm going to call this cube test now a few things to change here at the bottom left first you want to highlight selected objects leave your scale at 1. If you're using Blender 2.74 you would want to set this to 100 but they did update the FBX exporter so that is not necessary. You also want to change your Y negative Y to forward and the Z up. Um, that's just to get the rotation correct on your model from Blender to Unreal. If you look at uh, here, here's a few few options. I would just like to export the mesh. I don't have animation so I'm not going to export armature. Smoothing groups I want to put it as edge and then leaf bones unselect that. That should be the basic um, options that you should use so I can go ahead and click export. I can minimize this. I already have Unreal open over here as you can see. You'll notice that I have a character already set up here and I'm just going to click import the cube test I just saved a whole array of options materials we did not add any materials so nothing for us to change uh, convert scene as far as I know that this uh, changes rotation and everything so that it, it would be correct as we already set this up in blender this should not be necessary so just leave that. So everything should be 100% fine. Click import. You'll still get errors. This is the result because we don't have any materials or anything else set up. So don't worry about it. You could just close that. And there it is. Your cube test. If you drag that into the world, you'll notice it's roughly a little bit taller than the main character which as far as I know he's about 1.8 1.9 meters tall so you'll notice that the scaling is 100% okay on another note um, you'll notice that the 3d cursor or pivot point here sorry is located in the center of the, the model this is due to the fact that Unreal will export, if you export the model, it will use the center of Blender's um, mo model scene or Blender's world 
as the main pivot point. I can quickly demonstrate this just if I move the model off to the side here and I export it again. Let's make this 02. What you'll notice is that because it's quite a distance from the center, if we go back to Unreal and import it, just click import, close that. When we drag it in, its pivot point is like a completely different location. So just one thing to bear in mind when you export your model is that the center of the 3D scene or the world in Blender is used to look for your model's pivot point. There we go. That should wrap up this tutorial. I will be adding more tutorials, so please subscribe to this channel. Leave, leave a comment down below. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.